Hello everyone. Welcome to Bond Bites, our daily bond market highlights from INR Bonds. I am Nikhil, and as we speak, as we speak right now, uh, the election, uh, the counting is still uh, going on, and uh, BJP has won about uh, fifty-four uh, spots, and uh, in one eighty-three or one eighty spots, they're leading. And overall, it shows that they're likely uh, uh, to uh, to get about two forty seats at a standalone basis of BJP and. Which will, uh, which is lower than the exit poll figure, and uh, which caused a uh, spurt in uh, volatility in the market and equities are uh, uh, tanking by more than the touched as lows of uh, ten percent today. Their index Nifty was down by ten percent, but yeah, it recovered to uh, close to six percent down at the end of the day, uh, almost wiping out the the strong rally uh, after the exit poll results have come. And uh, on the bonds front, uh, we have uh, ten year GSEC, uh Closing at uh, seven oh four and five year closing at uh, seven oh nine percent, and uh, given that BJP uh, uh had doesn't have that uh, kind of majority what uh, uh market is uh, expecting and uh, the opposition also uh, that has uh, played out very well uh, uh surpassing the exit poll figures, uh and uh any which way is the theme uh the uh, opposition played in this uh, election is that. Uh, uh, the populist uh, kind of schemes, the way they want to uh, spend a lot on the uh, uh, economies, giving out a lot on uh, subsidies and all. So more or less, uh, uh, in order to uh, keep the uh, keep the uh, uh, reduce the political instability, uh, the government, whichever the government is likely to form, uh, they're gonna stick to the uh, populist kind of schemes, uh, which will in turn uh, raise the uh, government spending and. Uh, uh, we have to wait and watch how the July uh, interim uh, budget is going to be. So given this, uh, given the populist uh, kind of schemes, which is going to come out uh, uh, by the end of the government, which forms up, uh, which will help the rural economy to benefit the most. And with the benefiting rural economy, we can have uh, all the uh, NBFCs that are uh, Mitchell, uh, that are uh, microfinance uh, in the uh, microfinance companies and uh, all the MSME and uh, uh, SME kind of loans, where uh, this credit uh, credit growth is going to be uh, very robust and uh, likely to the balance sheets are likely to be get uh, better, and uh, which will uh, which is a positive thing for the uh, the credit market. So that's how uh, the bond market is going to uh, likely to uh, look at it. And uh, but on the GSEC front, uh, it's a kind of a mixed bag where uh, you want, on the one side you have. Uh, yeah, FIS and FPS money flowing in, and uh, uh, RBI, uh, RBI uh, is gonna do rate cuts maybe probably after one year, and you have uh, 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 you have macro uh, macro indicators at uh, um, at the best pace and best levels, and on top of it, now uh, uh, now if the government borrowing uh, or uh, uh, the government borrowing borrowing is gonna increase for this year, and uh, by uh, coming out of the targets of fiscal deficit that was set for this financial year that can uh, put some uh, pressure on the uh, G6. So out and out, uh, this is gonna be uh, a mixed bag of, a uh, uh, big mixed bag of uh, thing for uh, G6 and uh, we'll wait and watch and how the G6 is gonna play out. And on the equity front, uh, as I said, uh, the equities have uh, dropped uh, sharply and uh, the PSU index, uh, which is down about 15, 18% today. And Adani stocks also have tanked about 20%. And mid cap index uh, and the small cap index have done uh, uh, fell by about seven eight percent respectively. And on the uh, global uh, front, uh, you have a ten year US uh, uh, Treasury yields uh, are down to four point three percent. Thank you for listening in and uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not done so already. And the disclaimer is investment in debt securities, municipal debt securities, and SGAs are subject to uh, including delay or default in payments. Read all offer documents uh, carefully before investing. Thank you for listening.